Good morning everyone. What's going on? It's another glorious day here in Xiaoqing. It is not that hot. Well, at least not now. Uh, but you know with uh, the weather in this area is that it could be cool the one minute and five minutes later it would be either raining or the sun would be beating down like you won't believe it. But guys, I'm not complaining. I'm loving it. Uh, where I come from in Cape Town, it was very cold. We actually had a very cold winter this year, surprisingly. Um, we got had a lot of snow on the mountains, and uh, which is not very usual for for Cape Town. And maybe that is why it was so cold. So coming here, guys, was like a complete mind shift. And we've got weather of 35, 36 degrees every day. So Rosh has been telling me about this mall just at the end of this road and he says this uh, I need to pop in at this meat market now uh, he didn't give me much more info than that other than saying that pop in there if you can stomach it I mean now it's got my curiosity going I'm like all amped up now to see what's what's cutting at this place so I'm gonna pop in there but first guys let me have something to eat I'm gonna have a quick bite and I see you guys, I see, I see some of you low-key judging me for eating so much on my videos. <laughs> the man's gotta eat man, the man's gotta eat. But trust me guys, if you're in this place, wow man, the meals, the dishes, the amazing spices, the sauces, everything is just next level. I don't know what it is, we've been trying to figure it out, can has been trying to figure it out, Rush has been here for a year and a a uh, few months now and he's been trying to figure it out it's just something about these spices and I suppose the way they prepare the meals as well so I don't know what it is guys but yeah don't judge me I'm gonna eat I need to have breakfast let's have that bite and uh, maybe a a coffee and just let me tell you guys you might think that I've been saying that it's like 32 degrees 33 um, that it's too hot for coffee but when you go into these stores uh, or to these restaurants, the aircon is always on full blast, so you actually get quite cold inside this. So drinking a coffee doesn't seem weird at all. Maybe when you're walking on the outside, yes, you want to have a cold drink, and that's what I do with with water all the time. Uh, but inside, I'm okay with with having a a good coffee or even a tea. Uh, they've got some amazing tea out here as well, so I'm okay, guys. So. Yeah, inside coffee is all good. I actually came to KFC, guys. Um, and again, please don't judge. I mentioned to you that for breakfast, I want to keep it simple and keep it real, keep it more Western. Do you know that KFC out here in China, they actually make a mean beef burger. So um, it is just before 12, so I'm kind of late for breakfast, but I felt like having that beef burger with fries and a coffee. Well, some of you have been saying that watching me eat makes you hungry. <laughs> well, guys, then I think it's mission accomplished. My work here is done. <laughs> it has arrived. Fries, coffee, burger. Let me show you what the burger looks like. Not where I wanted to go. Cherry Blossom Leisure Club. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't suppose it's just for massages. Maybe you can uh, translate by yourself. Oh yeah, they are some. There are some facilities guys, it looks like the bath and these rooms. Alright, what those rooms are for guys, that I can't tell you. We're not going to find out today. There are still people that are waiting on answers from me with regards to 
the massage parlors in Cambodia, Vietnam, and um, what was it Ho Chi Minh? Yeah, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, and uh, they putting they putting so much pressure on me to speak. Guys, that is one thing that you have to experience for yourself. Let's see what we have. Okay, I think this might be the entrance to the back to the back section. Let's see. There's a meat section and then there's the fruit section and yeah I, I get exactly what Rush was talking about I think it's uh, he was trying to tell me the type of meat that they are preparing and how they're preparing it but a lot of them are still closed guys so this looks like fish on this side Those are not pits. Right, I'm not gonna focus on the fruit side, the fruit and veg. And then there's also the normal household stuff, eggs, spices, sauces, uh, oils, yeah. I think these must be, okay. oh, I don't know what it is. There's no air conditioning and so of course with all those various smells, fish, meat, um, fruit, veg, yeah the combination was a bit, was a bit overwhelming gotta say. Uh, guys there are some meat that's been prepared, I didn't ask what it was. Um, but some of it didn't look like meat that I would normally see in a butcher or how it's been prepared or how it's hanging but I'll leave that to your judgment guys I'm not here to to make an opinion on that but let me just add guys that I see a lot of similarities in the types of food that's been prepared in the restaurants so you know, people have this idea that only certain types of food will be served in, in Asia, for instance. But let's talk about China. So people would like suspect different types of meat to be prepared. I can tell you guys, I've had lamb, beef, obviously uh, beef mince, chicken, fish. I've had all the usual um, types of meat prepared. There's also pork. Obviously, I don't eat pork, but they do have uh, meals served with pork. 
and then of course there's snail and there's crocodile and there's uh what else is there like uh, especially in southeast asia as well uh, people were eating snake so i guess everywhere in the world you will find different cuisines and i mean if you're okay to try that then by all means but just don't judge it because people eat what they eat i mean there are countries where uh, they don't eat beef in india people don't eat beef because it's sacred in um, in Japan they didn't eat deer or would it be venison because certain parts of Japan that is sacred like in Nara so I'm not out here to judge guys I'm just saying I'll stick to what I eat you know and be okay with that and I'm happy with that and it was prepared to perfection it was even better than what I've had back in South Africa and most other places in the world so yeah and then you'll get these people asking you are you really eating beef are you really eating lamb when you order from the restaurant well I can ask the same when you go to any restaurant anywhere in the world are you really eating beef how do you know how would you know you haven't seen them preparing it you haven't seen them uh, cutting up the beef so you know i leave it at that guys i'm not here to debate i'm not here to start any arguments or anything like that i'm just trying to make a point that we are so easy to we are so eager to judge and uh oh let me say it's so easy for us to judge but again guys people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones oh i've got three seconds let me just run okay ah uh, we jump the gun really but what I try to say guys is that we are we are so quick to judge um, but we never question our own areas we never question our own countries I'm gonna say it again guys the food that I've had in China was some of the best that I've ever had in all of my travels let me just say it bam guys it's out there it's been so delicious so divine so tasty I want to make my way to Star Lake Mall so I'm walking towards the bus stop and I think that's where the uh, Didi will pick me up from as well and then I just want to hang around but it's not really for the for the for the mall that I'm going I'm actually going towards the lake I just don't know a landmark <laughs> so I'm using the Star Lake Mall as a landmark so let me just uh, call my Didi and then uh, I'll chat to you when I get to the mall all right oh. We have arrived at the Star Lake Mall. I gotta say guys, this place looks so spectacular at night with all these lights. Man, it looks beautiful. Much different during the day. I mean, it's obvious. The lights just add something else. Um, I think this is where we came to eat the other night. Cafe del Coral, Cafe de Coral, and immediately you feel that air conditioning, man. It is so amazing. Right, let's find the exit to the other side. All right, I'm, I'm not sure if you can read that far, but it's uh, Starry Night Tour, 80 RMB per person. Then there's the double decker boat night tour, 100 RMB. The uh, ferry ticket from Archway to Southgate is 15 RMB. Then there's the center lake tour, 60. And uh, yeah, guys, I think these tours might be better at night. It's going to be too hot. These boats are they are covered, but I, I doubt that there's air conditioning on the inside. And even if there are, the windows are all open. So it's not going to be as cool as it should be but there you can see a boat on the on the lake and on the other side too so i reckon you can travel across by ferry as for 15 rmb 
but yeah I think this is something that we can actually do at night maybe I will suggest this to to uh, can and rush this evening if rush doesn't have it on his uh, schedule already for us to do and I think this is just a pathway that goes along the lake um, I'm not sure if there's any restaurants even though I do see some umbrellas on that side you know when you see these colorful umbrellas it's always a sign that there's a uh, little food joint and it's a complete contrast to yesterday when it was public holiday and everyone was out every family was out enjoying the festivities of the mid-autumn festival there's a little island in the middle and that's where the boat stops I think I'm not sure if people can get off but what a lovely walk guys lovely pathway peaceful uh, it looks like you can come and do some meditation out here and I wonder if I can cross to this side okay I think I think I can cross always find these gems guys when you actually don't plan it so watch your step feels like a brick bridge expected it to be wooden it looks wooden but it's not it's like the yellow brick road oh man Oh guys, look what I found man. I don't think I'm the only one. Looks like somebody is just taking some nap time out here. Right, don't want to disturb that person. I would totally do the same. Yeah, it's definitely a restaurant. I don't see any people, but I am music playing. So it might be staff that's maybe preparing the uh, restaurant. Some lovely Chinese hip hop. <laughs> nice. Well, there's somebody on the inside. So maybe they are open. They just don't have any customers, maybe. Oh man, check this out. Alright, so it looks like it's called Tidal Sunset. Coffee, cocktail, whiskey, party, outdoor. Nice, very nice. I actually think, guys, that the boat that stops here do allow you to get off. Maybe there's a bridge on the other side. That'll be so cool, actually. So when we eventually do this ride at night, maybe want to stop at this island. So that island guys, I've officially named it Exploring DMT Island. So uh, I claimed it, that's it.